OK, folks, you're welcome to our last half hour uh, session. We're just running, not too bad. Look, it's fairly good. We're, as I said, we're trying to stick to our half hour slots. I know uh, the sports crew are high energy, so mad to mad to keep talking. We just kind of had to put a had to put a lid on them. All right. Uh, so the last session, folks, is a construction, engineering, and motor vehicles uh, and maintenance. My name is Ed O'Reilly. I'm one of the school heads here at uh, Camden Institute. So I'm going to move it on fairly quick. So in the next half hour slot, we're going to hear from uh, Colin Crossan, who teaches on the construction and engineering course. We have a couple of students. We're delighted. Hopefully that they can join us. We have Sean McDermott, uh, Engineering Technology, and we have Michael Kenny, um, Electronics. And after that, we will hear from Leo Gunning, who is on a motor vehicle maintenance uh, uh, course tutor. And we'll also hear from Adam Sulk, uh, Sulk uh, and he is a current, a current student. Bear in mind, folks, at the top of your screen, you have your Q&A button. So fire in your questions during the session. Our moderators will be busy walking behind the scenes answering those questions. You can email us at admin at cavaninstitute.ie. Any questions? Uh, our admin team will pass those questions on to the course tutors and the course tutors will come back to you. You can use our live chat function as well. It's a new feature on our website. And just when I do mention our website there, we have a new website. Website, I should say, um, so you can get all the information on courses, progression, and course fees, and so on. We also have a very, very active social media platforms: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and and so on. Very, very busy, and you can get a whole range of profiles on those social media outlets. Okay, that's enough for me. I'm going to pass over first of all to uh, Colum Colum Crossan. Thanks, Enda. Thanks for that. Um, Name is Colum Crossan. I'm teacher in the uh, engineering department at Cavan Institute. Um, like previous speakers, uh, teachers, uh, we're in a, a huge amount of industry experience in the engineering department in the areas of construction, technology, say motor industry and manufacturing. Uh, my own background is in manufacturing uh, as an engineer in food, electronics and pharmaceutical area. So delighted have this opportunity to go through courses um, tonight in the engineering department. Um, Leo uh, will also be going through some of the courses in the department and will be speaking to some students from the engineering department as well. So first, the course I'm going to go through, uh, they're first year level five and uh, the first ones, um, and they're in different engineering areas. The first area it's going to go through is uh, the pre-university mechatronics course. It's the area of robotics, electronics, uh, and uh, the area of automation. Students would study um, these areas, such as control systems, digital electronics, um, and uh, they would complete projects in these areas, whether it be soldering, programming. They, they would be completing projects as, as if you're in engineering fields, so one subject control is 100% practical, where you would build a board, then program that board and then validate as if you're an engineer. So at that stage, towards the end of the year, you'd be working like a, 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 you're on site where there'd be minimum input from teachers uh, and you'd be working on your own initiative, communicating, teamwork and working with others in the class. Students from this, from that course would go on to automation, robotic engineering, electrical engineering, electronic engineers. Second course, engineering technology. Uh, background would be in machines, workshop um, skills. Um, the students would also study CAD. Uh, they'd also go into the engineering, say controls, electronics and engineering systems. They'd also solder um, and in design as well. So they would be, these were preparing for careers in project engineering, process engineers, mechanical engineers. Um, so that's um, that uh, area. The other third course would be the renewable energy technology and control systems area. So this would be studying the area, say solar panels, wind turbines, that um, uh, area, and um, to go into the electronic and control systems and renewable systems. Um, and also preparing you for the construction, that side of the solar smart technology install and control panels to control heat and uh, control um, uh, say monitor systems in buildings. Um, the, the career in this area would be renewable energy, engineers, solar, wind, turbine maintenance uh, on the engineering side, on the uh, from that side. The final course um, just going through is the renewable and engineering technology. It's a second year course, so this would be a QQI level um, uh, six, so it's a second year course. 
these would be, say from the first year course, successful students could uh, go move through to the second year in Cavan Institute um, and they'd get a deeper understanding, appreciating the latest technologies in renewable field and um, they'd go into say solar panels, wind turbines and also the control systems are uh, controlling them. So that would be PLCs, programmable logic controllers and um, industrial pneumatic systems and the project management, safety management. Um, so key skills to gain on this and the other engineering courses and um, would prepare them well for industry later and for further progression into from the second year, for example, you could progress into second year into higher education, the like of uh, pre uh, say your mechatronics in um, Dublin uh, University and um, you'd have uh, other higher education courses in other institutes of technology. All so just all the engineering courses in Canada, they've, they've been uh, recognised by Engineers Ireland as a registered training provider. Um, courses focus on practical skills in the area. The college has the latest engineering software, hardware in the different areas, uh, to, 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 on the buildings and the engineering electronics uh, and the motor technology side all would have the latest uh, say technology available and also would work closely with uh, companies in getting skills that are needed for employment as well. Um, students would have work experience on the course for two weeks, which is mandatory. These would prepare students for progression into industry uh, and also prepare them uh, did have a qualification at the end of first year so that work experience really helps them uh, to know more about obviously their area the skills they've learned in Cavan Institute they can apply then in an industry so and the, the feedback from companies is very good where students sometimes have stayed on and uh, gained employment maybe uh, after the second year especially where they're at an engineer technician level so that'd be engineers aren't technician level at year two first year they, they could go into say um uh, in, into some pr uh, projects as well when they're there. So the assessments are continuous assessments, so which suits a lot of students. So to be say, for example, a lot of the practical ones are 70% practical, um, which suits a lot of students. And um, you'd have maybe 40% project to Christmas and maybe a four to one at least or 30% and then an exam 30%. Um, so it really, you know, they do build up a lot of students do build up a lot of skills, communication skills. There's communication module. There's team working um, involved in a lot of the practical sessions too. So the first years engineering students to progress into higher ed as uh, higher education, as I mentioned, second year students uh, have a three day placement or three days in the college, two days out work placement, which is brilliant over the year to gain a lot of experience a lot of them students would move in say this year some are working with local companies like ata manufacturing others are working in other um uh, companies in the area as well other students from second year have uh, intel has contacted the, co the college in relation to um, some of the technicians at levels that's the second year students and um, so others have got as, as i mentioned advanced entry into say mechatronics in techno uh, say technology university dublin and um, that would be from second year in Cabinet Institute into second year. At a, so it's so get forward into second year of uh, that course. Others have gone to Athlone IT where they've achieved one ones and some of those students uh, are up in Intel actually working. And um, so overall, the second year course would also feed into construction, into uh, apprenticeships uh, and into the motor industry as well. So a lot of varying backgrounds and from some of the graduates from the course, have um, a work in pharmaceutical, a work in, in uh, as engineers um, as well uh, after progression from Cavan Institute and going through uh, say for further um, studies. Um, or we'll be speaking uh, later in relation to those links. So I'm um, delighted to say Sean uh, McDermott, a student, uh, say present student, just finished uh, first year in engineering technology is uh, available, to, is here tonight, and I'm delighted to get a chance to just to speak to Sean and, uh, as well in relation to his course um, in Cavan Institute. Um, Sean, just a couple of questions uh, for you, Sean, if I just asked you. Yeah, um, Sean, how was this year? How did you find this year in Cavan It was the engineering technology I know you completed. How did you find this year, Sean? Yeah, I thought it was very good. Um, uh, we got to work out in the, the workshop where we were working it with big things like uh, uh, pillar drills, lathes, welding, stuff like that. But we also had a, uh, a go at the electronic side of things as well, where we were making uh, 
circuit boards and the like. It was very good this year. Very brilliant. Good stuff. And Sean, what's your plans after uh, now completing, say, your first year in Cavendish Institute in Engineering Technology? Yeah, I hope to go on to do the second year, the Renewable Energy and Electronic uh, Technology. So that's what I'm hoping to get is the, the second year, the second part. All right, very good, very good. Uh, thanks, Sean. Thank you. Thanks uh, for that. Um, I also a student from the pre-university mechatronics, uh, Michal, uh, is here tonight as well. Uh, so, Michal, I'm just uh, say ask you the same questions. How you found this year, Michal? How did you find this year in Cavan Institute? Yeah, I found the, the year very enjoyable. It was a very enjoyable year. I found everyone was very friendly in the college. I, I was I was unsure if I was going to go up to Dublin this year or was it, if I was going to go down to Cavan, but I made the decision to stay, stay, stay down here in Cavan and I'm glad I made the decision and definitely made the correct decision. Um, so talking about the course, there was three, three of the main modules were con control systems, electronics, digital electronics. Uh, in electronics, you'd be soldering, learning about components printed circuit boards and programming, which is very good. Uh, definitely get you set up for for the for work or apprenticeships or further education if that's if that's the route you want to go down. Very good, very good. Thanks, Miol. And what's your own plans, uh, Miol? What's your plans after your first year in Cameron Institute? Yeah, so hopefully next year I'll be uh, up in Dublin in DCU doing um, a general engineering course. It's a four year course and the first year you sample the different types of engineering, so whether that's mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, um, and then in your second year you specialise in one of them. So I'll be hoping to specialise in the electrical engineering as I gained plenty of knowledge this year from from, from the course. Thank you. Thanks, Emil. That's brilliant. So just uh, the situation, just one last thing just mentioned is, um, I know we're tied for time, but the people coming into the course have come from different backgrounds. There's carpenters come in and reskilled an engineer and just leave and search students, just mature students. There's students come from different backgrounds. The class size is small and the learn, as the lads said there, thanks, Sean and Neil. There's a lot of practical skills and practical assessments to prepare students. So I'll pass you over uh, to Leo. Leo's going to go through, say, the sustainable energy construction technology and uh, the motor vehicle maintenance. So um, thanks again, Sean and Neil. Well, uh, yeah, thanks, Colin, for that introduction. Um, again, just welcome everybody again here tonight. Um, I'll just give you a, a brief overview of uh, some of the courses. The Sustainable Energy and Construction course is aimed at people who wish to embark on a career in the um, construction industry. They focus mainly in areas of uh, new and sustainable technology, um, combining a theory aspect as well as a, as a huge uh, practical skill set. So the work experience is a key part in, in this course um, allows students to uh, develop and understand um, a lot of the skills needed in, in the, the career path. Um, Gavin Institute has also a huge uh, catchment area for the local business, business and many of the past students have gained employment with them. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. My own course, the more vehicle maintenance course, is uh, is designed kind of to give students the um, the real feel of, of the motor industry, and um, develop an understanding again of practical workings of a vehicle. And uh, we have a purpose built workshop in uh, out in the Balna Road there, and um, practice on the vehicles. We've got a few vehicles. We've uh, equipment. It's to prepare you for. Um, going into a real life setting in, in garages, which an awful lot of the garages now want. Um, so you have huge opportunities now in the motor industry, um, not just as technicians, but the, the, there's huge areas there as well that people forget about. You have the sales, you have parts, and especially now with the introduction of um, electric vehicles, it's a, it's a new industry. Um, also, another part there where we've uh, a good link with TU Dublin is the accident repair um, and investigations, which is uh, another huge area as well at the moment. Again, uh, on our course, the, the work experience is a major part of it. You, you gain valuable uh, practical experience with the local garages and workshops. 
<clears throat> so we're constantly in contact with them, uh, the local businesses, and many of the students have gained friendships, you know, from from uh, the work experience with them. Um, and as Colin has mentioned above, on completion of the course, you, you've given the option to um, progress into the second year. So and also into higher education. Um, anyway, the, probably the, the best introduction to any course is, is a past uh, student. We've had him here with us this evening. Um, he's just completed the course with us. And um, if uh, you don't mind, we'll introduce Adam there. Adam, if you're there, you're very welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me along, Leo. No problem. Um, good to hear from you again. Ah, yeah, it was a good year this past year. Good year, yeah. Now, just with, with, with um, some of the questions uh, maybe posed at you, uh, how do you, uh, what was your experience of, of the course and, and what did you get over? Well, I really enjoyed the experience, definitely. Um, sort of went into it, I had no prior experience with working on cars or any sort of mechanics. But uh, it was a case of, I, I like cars, I've always been into cars since I was younger, so I just thought, well, why not, I'll go, I'll go see what happens, basically. And uh, I definitely say if there's uh, any students that have no experience, like the same boat I was in, thinking about doing the course, I'd say go for it, because it's, it's a really good course, it's a good introduction to mechanics, you'll definitely leave the place um, being kind of confident and uh, just tackling any problems with the car, even with myself there. Leaving the course, I've sort of got the skills and the knowledge to basically fix any of the problems that came up with my own car so far, which is fairly handy. Definitely saved me a couple of hundred euro there. And uh, the practical side of the course is really good. Um, sadly, then with the corona lockdown and everything, we weren't in as much as we'd like to, but at the same time, we did get in a lot of practical work. I'd hope for our next year students to be in doing more practical work because the course is mainly practical work then. Thanks a million for that, um, Adam. Yeah, if, um, <laughs> as you say, you, you're after getting your own uh, car on the, uh, recently, and I'd be glad to make sure that it helps out, you know, some of the, the practical skills. It gives you the, the diagnostic tools that we're able to sort them out. Um, where, do, where do you see yourself going, Adam, um, in the future? Um, well, quite unrelated to the current course I'm doing, um, I'm hoping to go into a career doing software development. We uh, focus on artificial intelligence. So I applied to a couple of different colleges there a couple of months back, but at the moment I have to wait till August to see uh, how that goes. Very good. And with, with Calvin, did it, did it, um, in your, would you say it got you ready for that, you know, with assignments and, and getting ready for, for college? Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, um, it's a big difference between going Cav and then thinking back to when I went in school, like I was 17 doing the leave insert. So definitely my attitude being a bit older in Cav was a uh, different so and uh, sort of prepared you for college, like with assignments and uh, sort of giving you the responsibility of all of a sudden it's up to you to get all the work done. There's nobody going to be asking you to do the work. So it's a case of you either apply for yourself, apply yourself to the course and come out of it enjoying it with a good uh, grade and all that or uh, you don't like. So I think it really prepared me for uh, further education then in that way. Brilliant, brilliant. Thanks for that, Adam. And uh, I'll, I'll take this opportunity to wish you the best in the future. Yeah, thank uh, you. Um, we'll just have we time to talk to Orla on uh, just a, from a career guidance. Might give us a little bit of a, a help out on, on uh, where we progress. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that, Leo, no worries. Uh, so thanks, Leo, and um, a very special thank you, I suppose, to the, the three different students for taking time out of their evening to join us. Um, it's always nice to get the student voice in, in these events. So I'm Marla McGuire and I'm the guidance counsellor here in Cavan Institute, one of three guidance counsellors here to support students. And I'm just going to talk to you very briefly because I know we are getting tight for time, but I'll talk to you very briefly about how you can use these construction engineering or motor vehicle mechanics courses to progress either into employment or higher education. So all of our courses are very practical in nature, as the tutors would have alluded to, um, and a lot of our students will be able to go out and work, will go on work placement and uh, from this work placement they're able to secure part time jobs and which can often lead into full time employment once they're finished their studies with ourselves. So the skills students are learning, you know, are very highly, highly sought after. 
and students are getting employment in garages, construction companies, uh, retail settings, various trade companies. Um, there's a lot of different areas. It's, it's quite a broad range of areas that they can move into. So some students would also like to continue their studies uh, with ourselves here in Cavan um, and they can progress on to the Renewable and Engineering Technology Year 2 course. But these courses are also a really good springboard to securing an apprenticeship um, and we would work very closely with our colleagues in CMETB to help students secure apprenticeships in a whole um, range of different areas such as motors, construction, engineering and then a lot of the more kind of recent areas that are coming on in, in the world of apprenticeships such as biopharma um, or science and labs. Um, a lot of our students would like to continue their studies beyond Cavan Institute, they'd like to go further afield um, and there is progression into all of the ITs and universities all around Ireland um, and we have a wide range again, a wide range of um, opportunities here with students going on to do quantity surveying, automotive engineering, building services management, electrical engineering to name just a few. Uh, students are also given the opportunity to continue their studies uh, in the UK by applying through the UCAS application system and we have some students in the past who are actually decided to go and study in mainland Europe and they're applying through UNICAS. Uh, Europe's probably a more, more recent development in the progression but these courses are delivered through English um, in, in universities all around Europe um, and students are really enjoying that experience. And going to the UK or going to Europe allows students to follow more specialised fields of study such as global business engineering or transportation design. So here in Cavan, the guidance department is here to support all of these students, no matter what they decide to do, whether it's apprenticeships, further study uh, or moving abroad. We host several CEO workshops to assist students with their CEO applications if they want to apply to colleges here in Ireland. For students wishing to go to the UK or to Europe, we offer extensive support with the application form with composing an effective personal statement, which is a key part of the application process. Um, and we put a lot of work into preparing students for the college interviews if and when they get called for them. Um, and I suppose we're still here, you know, when the, when the offers start coming in from the UK and Europe, it might be hard to decide which one to go with. So we're here to support students with those decisions and um, to prepare for the transition over to the UK or to Europe. For students moving into the world of work, then we again offer a lot of support in terms of building CVs, writing a good cover letter um, and again developing those interview skills that allow students to get the jobs once they get called for the interview. Um, I suppose all in all, that's kind of a lot of what we do. Um, it's very hard to go into a more detailed explanation of the progression because there is so many different opportunities. Um, but I suppose the main point that you need to take away from tonight is once you have a level five qualification, there's over 800 different courses available to, to you to apply to on the CEO. So that's 830 odd courses that would accept any level five qualification. So coming and doing a course here with ourselves is a really good stepping stone to further education. Um, if you would like to ask any more uh, specific questions, in particular to a particular course, a particular progression, you can email us at admin at cavaninstitute.ie and someone from the guidance department will be happy to answer your queries. So thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed the evening. I'm going to hand you back to Enda for our final comments. Um, and thank you very much for your time. Yeah, I think that's it, folks. That was a, a fairly uh, condensed uh, session there. Thanks to Orla. I'm going to walk backwards. Orla, Adam, Leo, uh, Sean, Michael and uh, Colm. Look, I think that was that was a very informative session. And again, as Orla said there, it's absolutely it's great to hear from the students and just to hear from their side. I thought Adam summed it up well there in, in terms of really it is like it's up to you when you come and do a PLC course. You know, it's independent learning at its best, albeit there will be lots of support there. But, you know, the initiative has to come from yourself, which is look at um, just a couple of very, very quick things just to wrap it up. Just in terms of the question to questions, it's been a very, very busy uh, Q&A session all, all evening. It's been fantastic. Uh, our moderators are still answering those questions. Uh, you can email us at admin at cavaninstitute.ie uh, if you have any further questions after this evening's session and look at uh, that email will be directed to the course tutor and the course tutor will come back to you. You can, you can use our live chats as well. So it's a new feature we have up and running, which is brilliant. And again, our website, it's a new website, loads of information there in terms of courses, progression, course fees. And again, as I said during the session, our, our social media outlets are extremely busy and uh, very, very active. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube and so on. 
So look at uh, just in terms of our sessions tonight, look at I, I hope that you've taken something out of it. It just could be a small nugget of information uh, that you may use maybe has a has a potential option just to progress on to one of our courses here at the Institute. We you know look we hope that you've got a deeper understanding of the courses. Uh, we hope that you we have answered all of your questions and as I said if we haven't don't be afraid to contact us. Um, I would just like to particularly thank all the students who, who have come online. It can be a bit nerve wracking in a live event. Uh, so I just want to particularly thank all of our students and I would also like to thank all of our staff uh, who are on screen, who are working behind the screen. And I'm not going to mention names, folks. I know there's a lot of people in the background who put a lot of work into this. And this is the first part of it this week. Uh, we have tomorrow night, will I just check my schedule? Tomorrow night, folks, uh, just so we're not leaving anybody out, uh, at 7 o'clock we are going to go with uh, accountancy and business law. And at 7.30 we're moving on to uh, childcare, childcare special needs. And then 8 o'clock we're going to social care, psychology. And 8.30 we're going to tourism, security, culture and heritage. Wednesdays and Thursday night, I'm not going to run down through that, folks, but all the information you need is on our website and the links to those individual sessions. So if you click on the top part of our website, uh, there's an option there, I think it's learn more. You can see a virtual event. You can click into any of those sessions. And bear in mind, folks, we have sessions running during during the day as well, from 1.15 to 1.45. Um, and our live chats, as I said before, they're ongoing all week. So we have a very, very busy uh, virtual, virtual open week. OK, I think that is it. I am going to close it off two minutes after nine o'clock. My God, that's that's keeping it dead on the money, which is great. All right. Um, thanks, folks, and we'll see you tomorrow. If anybody's available between 1.15 and 1.45, we're looking at traineeships and apprenticeships during that half hour slot, uh, 1.15 to 1.45, and then 7 o'clock again, uh, as I said, touching on accountancy and a whole other range of courses. Thank you.